my name is Nicole Fiore, and I roller skate. You know the old school roller skates, two in front, two in back? Yeah, those ones. I'm gonna be teaching you how to roll and entertaining you along the way. Come roll with me. Hello, today we are going to do another version of Crazy Legs. You can see it, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, it's just black here, so I was like, are you? Oh, no, yeah, it's fine. It, it's a little crooked though. I know, I'm looking at my offset things. You hit record, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I teach a skills class every Wednesday and we went over crazy legs. I think the best way possible if learning it and trying to make it smooth, we went over that this Wednesday and you can purchase it on the site, which I will link below. But in the process of me figuring out the smoothest way to do crazy legs, in my opinion, um, I started playing with this version where people kind of do a spread eagle or a heel to heel motion, hit, hit, boom, boom, and then you can kind of put them together, Dun. which is a cool thing on its own. So that's what I want to go over today. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my hips do not like doing heel to heel. Uh, this is not a comfortable position for me. Yes, I probably just need to stretch more, uh, but we're all made different and this is not super comfortable. So it is a little interesting and I wanna tell you how I do this comfortably um, today. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to start with a few different steps. It's basically gonna be one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna work on combining them to make it two movements. So pretty much every way that I do crazy legs, which I believe I have, I know I have at least two tutorials, now three, on versions of crazy legs. My favorite way to do it is what I call the edgy crazy legs, which is like really sending a hip out like this. So it's focusing more on the inside edges, but you, no matter what, need to know which direction your toes are pointing and stuff like that. I find that that is what most people, most newer skaters, the reason people trip most often is because they aren't quite sure where their feet are aiming. So we do really need to think about where our toes are aiming. Okay, I'm going to turn around so that you can follow along. So I'm going to start with my feet just facing forward, always with a slight bend in the knees. Tighten that torso, tighten your upper back so you're nice and strong and very stable. I'm gonna turn my left skate so that my toe is pointing to the left or as left as possible. Like I said, I have a hard time with heel to heel, so mine sometimes is a little more diagonal. That's okay, but it may trip us up a little bit. So turning that left skate to face the left, which is the direction we're going to go first. Now, I want you to bend and move your right heel to face that way as well. If you wanna think of only your toes, then it's gonna be your left toe to the left, your right toe to the right. But the way that we get momentum doing it is from the bend to the turn. So I want you to just practice that for a moment. So here I lift my left toe wheels up to then face the left, and then I lift my right heel wheels like that. So just practice that for a moment. We will eventually go like that a little quicker, but it still is the left moving and the right moving. My room is slightly slanted this way, so I have an advantage going this way, which is great at the moment, but then when I go to the other direction, I have to really push myself to go that way because that is uphill. Once you're comfortable here, one, two. I want you to stop yourself by going like this with your left foot. And you can do this as angled as you want. I suggest basically pointing your toe at the right diagonal. So we're gonna go one, two, stop it there to then face the right diagonal. And this may be a little scary at first. If you are picking up a lot of speed, I don't suggest going super fast, just rolling a little bit. So you may just casually slow down. Then I pick up my heel wheels aim my toe at the right diagonal. So now both of these feet are facing the same direction for me because I'm bad at the heel to heel. <laughs> so because I'm bad at the heel to heel, I'm going left and then kind of diagonal. So it flows into this even easier. 
So it's an advantage maybe to be bad at the heel to heel. So I'm here, this is position three, focusing with the left skate, aiming at the right diagonal. Then I want you to pick up your heel wheels of your right skate, turn it to face the left diagonal. This is not a comfortable position for most people. So I'm gonna show you a little trick in a moment, but let's go over that again. So we have one, two, three, four. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four. I lied, one more time. That's like every skating teacher's, that's what we lie about the most. Whenever we say one more time, we actually mean like two, at least. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going through this like this because this is what most people have problems with is just aiming the toes. Once you know where your toes are aiming, you should be good to go and you can make it smoother on your own and kind of add your own flavor to it. Now we're gonna go into this position, but when you go to make your fourth position, I want you to push your left hip out and rotate it a little bit so that you end up square. So even though your left skate is pointing to your right diagonal, when you turn your right skate in, you can kind of push the left hip out and turn your hips square. Even if you drop your right hip a little bit, it could be really cool because that will push your left hip out even more. I'm saying a lot of left and right, so I hope that makes sense. All right, from the beginning, we have left, right, right diagonal, left diagonal, pushing that hip out. To get the motion that we need to go right, we have to curve our right skate like this. Now, I don't know if you just caught it, but I tapped my toe stop down. Try to avoid doing that. That was a good example of what not to do. If you have toe stops in, you could right here, I should have mentioned this a moment ago. If you do have toe stops in, you can put your toe stop down if you want with this back foot the one that is back furthest. So I don't know if you can fully see that here, but when I'm doing this, this right skate is behind the left skate. Even though they're side to side, it's further back. So you could easily put your toe stop down if you want to stabilize yourself a little bit more. It's all style preference if you wanna put that toe stop down or not. Or if you even wanna wear toe stops or not, you don't need toe stops to be able to do this one. To make ourselves go right, we have to curve this right skate kind of in a C or in a parenthesis to go that way. And then we wanna put all of our wheels down and do the same thing. Now we have to turn the left skate, bend, propel ourselves. Three, four. So let's go over that again. From over here, three, four, do a C, put your right toes to your right, turn your left skate so you're heel to heel. Now your right toe faces the left diagonal, you turn your left skate in, toe wheels on the ground only to face the right diagonal. This is not, again, super comfortable, so you could really turn yourself or you could even turn not so much with this third position. You could make it a little less of a diagonal if it hurts your hips. If anything hurts when you're doing this, figure out a way to lessen the strain on whatever is hurting. Your knees, especially when you skate, but your knees should always be straight down. If you're ever working on any edges, it should, yeah, you could like lean your knee a little bit, but your knee should never really turn. That should be your foot getting those edges and getting that movement. Your knee should always be straight and you should always have that slight bend in your knees. Let's go through this again. Let's count it out. We're here in the beginning. We go one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. I always end up doing my hands like this and it makes me laugh because I feel like a air traffic control. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Notice the slight bend in my knees. One, two, three, four. You may feel silly if you do these hands, but they may help. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. 
and then one, two, three, four. If you have music that has a good beat, you could try this to the music. This would be, instead of just counting to fours, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aside from my skills class on Wednesdays, I do choreography classes on Fridays, and I always try to cover something that I've worked on that week, something that you may have seen on my Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. So keep a lookout for the choreography classes. I think the best way to actually learn skills when skating is to dance through it. Even if you think you're not a good dancer, like I am not a trained dancer. I have only been taught to dance through skating. So I think it's a really good way to practice because you'll forget that you're actually practicing if you're dancing and having fun. Now we have to combine these moves. So instead of one, two, three, four, we're gonna try to go one, two. So we're gonna try to move both at the same time. So this may be a little tricky. Take your time. We all learn at our own pace. Don't get too frustrated with yourself. Try not to get too frustrated with yourself. I know it's difficult sometimes. <laughs> From this first position, if you can pop both feet at the same time, I suggest bending. I'm gonna go to the left, so I'm gonna lift my left toe wheels and my right heel wheels, but I'm gonna do them both at the same time. Practice that a few times on its own. Don't even try to do the end thing. Just bend. Go to here. And it's not like a bend, stiffen up. It's very subtle, the up. It's bend slightly up, bend. That is not a cute position. I feel like an Oompa Loompa a little bit. Another note when you're doing that, I feel it in my abs. I'm trying really hard to keep my chest up. I do kind of lower a little bit. I'm trying really hard not to relax my back because that's what I tell everyone all the time is, yeah, you can tilt forward if you need to, but never relax your back. I feel myself tightening in my abs. So sometimes if you feel yourself tightening, you'll kind of feel like you're doing a little bit of a crunch or like a little sit up. So you may feel it tightening and folding forward a little bit. That's okay as long as you remember once you're there to pull back up through your abs, lift them and tighten your back. I'm reminding myself of that and all of you. Okay, so it once you get this down that you can move both at the same time, now we're gonna try to do that all at the same time. So from here, let's just stand still in this position. So your heel to heel position, your rolling position. Now I want you to try to lift up onto only your front wheels. If you have something to hold onto, please grab onto that, stabilize yourself. I want you to lift both heel wheels, get comfy with that first. I feel a little like a weird ballerina, but bend, keep your knees bent when you're trying this. Find where you can balance on those front wheels. It's only gonna be for a split second, but you want to make sure that you're able to squeeze your inner thighs in so that your feet don't get too far away. Cause if they get too far away, that's gonna hurt real bad. So from here, you're gonna lift the heel wheels up and then turn your toes where they need to go. Boom. Now I am very grateful that this front foot gets to plant all the wheels on the ground. This back one stays lifting the heel wheels. So only your front wheels are on the ground, but this you put, I shouldn't say you, I put most of my weight into this left skate that's gonna have all the wheels on the ground. This one is just kind of here for style and to help me stay in place. I don't know if that fully makes sense, but that's how it feels anyway. From here, lift, lift. And again, you can push that left hip out when you're going to the left because that actually feels better. It kind of locks me in place. Back to this way, I already have my heels lifted, so I'm actually going to lift my left heel wheels as well, and there. So let's just go over this slowly here. Second position, to the right, second position. If you wanna hold on to your waist or your abs, you can do that as well. Feel what you're doing with them.
Something else that may help with the hands, if you're going to the left, it may help when you stop to keep your left hand to your side or back a little bit and your right hand forward. Go out and then switch. That kind of helps me stay in place anyway. If I'm here, 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 here. And that can kind of make for cool moves. Like that. I don't know if that looked cool at all. <laughs> when you do lift to get your momentum side to side, don't lift too much. I know I kind of said that already with the body, but with the feet, even when you're going here, this front foot just kind of guides you. And the second foot, the one that's turning, can literally just kind of turn. You don't even need to hop once you get the momentum to go back and forth. It kind of does like a half three turn right here to get going. But again, keep those knees bent. And play with the arms to see what helps you. I'll try to make this like cooler. I'll try to post it on my reels. Boom, boom. If you wanna add a little more knee bend too into this, it can be cool. Again, you can put that toe step down if you want. It kind of helps you sit back into it instead of forward if you put the toe step down. I don't personally like how that feels. I prefer to be a little forward because most of my weight is on that front foot. Boom, boom. Da, da, da. In order to make this go faster, once you're comfortable, it feels, it does feel better to go up more, down, up more, down, and get a little more of that crazy leg rhythm. Maybe don't go so far. I don't, when I do this, I did choreography to this is how we do it. And that's what I have stuck in my head right now. For whatever reason, to this move, maybe this is in my choreography. You can kind of do whatever you want with your arms. I just try to keep that side switching. So when I'm here to the left, I push my right side forward. And to the right, I push my left side forward. Or you can think of pulling that side back. So when I'm going to the left, you can pull your left side back, right side back. Wow, this is a workout on the legs. My um, arches really feel it. I need to roll my feet out. Let's leave it at that today. Again, like I said, my skills class from November 25th, 2020, I explained crazy legs in a new way that I haven't posted here on YouTube. So please check that out if you want to try that way. I think it was a better way of making it smooth. I think it's a faster way of figuring it out, to be honest. Please check that out. Let me know what you think. Please go ahead and practice this. If you have any questions or wanna send me your progress, I absolutely love seeing it. Someone just messaged me today that I really love watching and she uh, was showing me her spins that have gotten so good. So please, please share that with me. I absolutely love seeing that and I appreciate it because I'm just so happy I can help so many of you. I love it. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you later. Well, that was fun. It'd be real tight if you liked this video and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Okay, bye.